Hello everyone and welcome back to Dog Sled Saga and let's actually view the roster. I think we've got some extra, yeah, we've got some extra funds and I just want to see if we happen to have any, um, if we happen to have any good, uh, potentially here. Give me one moment. There we go. I just had to check my list here. <laughs> I have a list of the dogs and their traits that I keep up for looking for this. So I want to see if we have any uh, any dogs that could potentially be a good match for squirrels. So of course we need a male. So we do have Harry who has the steady personality and I believe steady is either wheel or, or I want to say or I want to say it's either um, wheel or um, or middle, I want to say. <laughs> I always get them mixed up. And we also have Amras. Uh, charge up is not bad. Consecutive catch is not bad. So Harry could be a good option. Raksha's female. Melda's female. Oreo is a schnauzer. I don't know if we'll use schnauzers because, again, they don't strike me as an Arctic travel type of dog. We could get a steady German Shepherd with good catch. Wavering is not a great fault, though. Um, it's it's kind of one of the worst ones. Yeah, I'm not seeing any dogs that are super outstanding there, so I don't think we're going to end up um, end up doing anything with them. So let's see here. Uh, we have... How many middle dogs do we currently have? We have one, two, three, four... Or four. We have four. So... I don't think I want to, wait, yeah, we've got four. <laughs> um, I don't think I want to breed, because we're going to be breeding Chase and Aeon, and I'd like to try and do that today. I don't think we're going to try, I don't think, oh, it's not letting me pet him again. I don't think we're going to do that just yet. Um, does everybody still need to be on caretaking, or can we put anyone on training? Oh, these two can go on training. Chase can as well, and everybody else needs to rest a little bit more. And then I think... We should be able to then come to the regimen, I believe. And I think Sierra is the only one who needs to rest for an extra day here. So I think what we can do is we can put her resting and then we'll switch to caretaking. There we go. And then we'll switch just to training here. And that should be good. And we have a four dog race. We'll go ahead and enter it. Challenge is league average minus five, it looks like. And we have sufficient restocks. That's one thing you guys mentioned to me is that you can check on their restocks. And it looks like no obstructions, no foliage. I think this could be a great time to actually race Sierra. So it says dangerous exhaustion rate. Um, I don't know why that's... Uh, that's so bad here. All right, let's see. Let's get... We'll probably put Rory in... Or should we put Chase in? Um, I'm going to put Rory in for this race, I think. Uh, her favorite thing was 14 days ago. And then... Well, actually, let's see if we can put Chase in. Because I think we have some rapport. Do we have any rapport there, I think? Um, or not? <laughs> uh, great. Yeah, neither of those are good. Would it be better to put Shasta in? Shasta had his favorite thing 14 days ago. Yeah, I think we're going to keep Squirrel. We'll put Squirrel in and we'll put Snowball in. And we're just going to try and make sure we keep her fed. It seems like there's quite a few restocks, so I think we'll be okay. And it's a four-dog race, so I think we're good. So, yeah, Steady is either middle or wheel, I'm pretty sure. And uh, so, like, if we look at Chase, he is Steady. He has Natural and Able and Lead is the struggle. So, yeah, Steady is a middle or wheel, so that's a good one. And then Squirrel is Obedient, which is either middle or lead. All right, um, and I think, Snowball, what are you? You're a natural at the lead. All right, uh, we're going to go ahead and make sure we keep everybody else busy, too. So let's, oops, not caretaking, I want training. We'll get Aeon in here, and we'll go ahead and start the race. We're going to have to really keep an eye on Sierra, but I think we should be okay. We just got to be pretty cautious. All right, here we go. And she's going to get tired pretty much immediately. Oops. No, I think I missed Squirrel. No, 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 no. Okay, you gotta stay forward. You need more food. You gotta go forward. No, no, no. Oh, no. This is a catastrophe. <laughs> All right, let's make sure we feed. We've got to keep her fed so she doesn't start accumulating a lot of fatigue. Because fatigue for her... I thought it said there was no obstructions. Um, oh, no, I missed her. Oh, okay, now I'm gonna end up hitting her in the head with a treat. <laughs> All right. Oh, and there's a restock. Perfectly timed. So, sufficient restocks is a good thing. Um, the more restocks uh, for when you're running with... Um, oops, Chase wasn't even ready. Uh, for when you're running with a training dog, 
it, the better because, um, all right, oop, okay, good, they got it. <laughs> um, but yeah, the more restocks you have for when you're going with a training dog, a lot, uh, the better for them because the more you can make sure you're going to have enough, enough treats to feed them. And you guys have said that can make it easier on the races. That was something I hadn't been checking and probably should have been checking. And I think we got through this okay. And she should start developing specialty here, too, I'm pretty sure. This was her third race in the middle, and so she should specialty up here. So let's go through one fatigue, three fatigue. Uh, but she got her middle specialty and upped her fatigue capacity, so that's good. Snowball got two, and Squirrel got some rapport with Snowball, so that's good. Um, let's make sure we get everybody resting properly here. So here we go, and we'll go ahead and proceed. I guess I probably didn't pet everyone, but... Um, yeah, we should be good with uh, with having enough um, enough to pay bills here as well. So let's go ahead and can we switch anybody off training? Uh, Chase can. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch some of the dogs to caretaking here. And we'll start training as well. And that should be good for them. And then we'll just make sure we swap because I think we have one dog that needs to swap here. So we probably have, okay, Snowball is ready to swap, and then we should be re ready and able to just swap Sierra in as well. So there we go. And one more day and we get to work with Avalanche. Avalanche is the new puppy, and so we should get to work with him here and start uh, trying to, okay, three chances to spend time with him and see what kinds of attributes he'll grow into. I can choose condition his natural aptitude, skill type, fault type, or favorite thing, and see what comes of it. So Avalanche is Shasta and Rory's son. And I think, okay, um, hmm, I think we'll try, we'll try and condition the, um, we'll try and condition his, uh, his natural, or not his aptitude, we'll try and condition his skill, because I'd like to get him, to have him get the charge up skill. So, he has a chance of getting charge up or tangle free in the normal potential. So, let's see. He's gonna have charge up. Okay, that's good. So, that's a good thing for him. And then we'll probably try and condition favorite, because both Rory and Shasta have decent favorite skills, or decent favorites, or favorite things. But um, they're not great, and so the more if we could get him to get one that isn't actually on a um, oh, league average minus six, or no league average. Oh, is it average for the? I am very confused on that. There's a lot of restocks, but a lot of foliage and stuff too. But yeah, if we could get him to get something that's not even normally inherited. Okay, yes. Uh, let's put Shasta in this time, and I think we'll put Rory in here. Um, in fact, I think now that she's got a natural, her natural aptitude, real quick before we do this, or let's do this race, because I think I'm probably going to be ready to, to breed the other, um, well, I didn't want them caretaking, I want them, uh, I want them training. <laughs> um, before, before, I think we'll probably try and breed then, um, Chase and Aeon here because Sierra is pretty much ready to be a middle dog. So let's go ahead and start. She's gonna have a high exhaustion rate, but that shouldn't be too bad. And this feels very slow and very quiet. I'm gonna wait a little bit more before I start feeding. There we go, and we'll feed her now, and I'm gonna pull her forward just a little bit so she doesn't tangle. This feels very, very slow and simple now. Oh, and Shasta's ready. And we do have, all right, we gotta jump. And can you catch that? Yes! So that got us some fame too, which is good, although honestly at this point I think we're so famous I'm not sure it really does all that much for us. Um, let's make sure we feed you too. There we go. And she'll probably be ready before them again just because she has a higher exhaustion rate. We've got a tree coming up, so I'll feed the other two once we get past the tree. And man, this feels really, really slow. Oh no, we missed Shasta. No, I missed him again, didn't I? Oh no, we got it. Okay, well, oh Shasta, I didn't expect your fall to come out. Oh yeah, and her skill is that she can lunge out of a uh, position to be able to uh, to catch treats. So her skill is active right now, apparently. All right, uh, Shasta, you should be about ready. There we go. And Rory, you're not quite ready. Or oh yeah, Rory got it. Okay, um, I thought she was more ready. All right, wow, this feels very, very slow. <laughs> um, I've said that about 30 times and it still holds true. After having five dog races, everything just feels really, really calm and it's kind of nice 
it's good to have a little bit of a break from the utter chaos that can be the more uh, the more challenging races. So let's see. I'm just gonna keep feeding these guys, and Shasta should be about ready now. Let's make sure that we get them jumping in time. <laughs> I wanted to make sure I got them fed, but I did kind of push it a little bit there. Okay, Shasta, you need to pull up, otherwise you're gonna cause tangling. Rory, what is Rory? Oh my goodness, what is your fault, Rory? We've never actually seen it happen before. Um, I've never actually seen her fault, and I don't know what it was. I don't know what it actually was, but uh, we'll have to find out afterwards, I guess. Oh, they got fame because they caught it at the same time. And, oh, yep, we're in first. We're good. All right. Uh, make sure you stay up ahead, Shasta. <laughs> All right. There we go. And uh, I think, here we are. Um, let's see. So we found out what Rory's fault is, or we kind of found out. So, let's see. No, we're not entering a league race for the next league just yet. What is her fault? She has the choke fault. Oh, no! So that's not good. She'll, she slows down when you get close to an opponent. That's actually a terrible fault. Um, definitely not something we want to see. So what is, what is Shasta's? Shasta's fault is tangle prone. You know what? Next time we get to work with Avalanche, we're going to try and condition for the fault because I really don't want him to get that fault. That one's really, really bad and not something I want to be messing around with. Um, but also I think, let's see. So we've got, I think we're going to try and breed Chase and Aeon here. Er, um, I think because, yeah, I think it's probably because Sierra's skilling up. Um, it's a five dog. Yeah, we've got, we've got a lot of races that, ooh, that's going to be a tough one. We may or may not end up racing in that one because we're okay for our bills already. So what I'm going to do is I think I'm actually going to go ahead and we'll go breeding. And we're going to breed Aeon and Chase. So... Um, natural aptitude is wheel, so the dog will probably be wheel aptitude. Tangle free versus light eater. Light eater is better. Bad catch is not a good one. Too proud is slightly better. And victory and fame, victory is a little bit easier than fame generally. So let's go ahead and we will breed them. And there's a super potential for wheel. Well, we will need a new wheel dog because some of these guys will be retiring pretty soon. Let's go ahead and uh, we'll see how this is going to work out. That does drop our fees too because then we have less dogs actively on the team. And let's see here. Can we... Okay, these two can transfer over and we'll leave Sierra to rest for another day. And then we'll go have her go back to training. There we are. And once they get back, what we'll probably end up doing is breeding Duncan and Snowball again. And hopefully that will, uh, hopefully that'll work out pretty well. Uh, I think we have, we have some more time, so we're gonna keep going here. <laughs> and, um, we should be good. I think we just need to, to keep racing when we can. So we, oh, we gotta do more conditioning with Avalanche. So we're gonna go for Fault type, because I do not want him to get that Choke Fault. That is not a good one at all. So... Oh. Okay. Well, it's not the choke fault, so I think we'll leave that one. All right. Let's get everyone here. Okay. Um, I'm going to put Sierra in the back if that's how this is going to be then. And then, yep. Who else is there? Um, Shasta. So we just raced with Shasta, so we'll leave him... Um, or no, I, do, I don't want to leave him caretaking. I want to leave him training. I always do that. I always put him in the wrong spot. All right. So, yeah, we should be good. This is a very good race, actually, for training these guys. And, um, I think this will be good for them. So, let's see here. Um, and it'll be good, too, if we can get Sierra building rapport with the others, because that's something that's going to be really important to have, um, as, uh, as time goes on, because that will help ease her fatigue as she's training as well. <laughs> uh, so we need to make sure we get her rapport up with them as fast as possible. We've got a lot of restocks, so I'm not overly worried. Oh, stay forward. All right, we're gonna have to jump. Let's go ahead and see if we can feed Squirrel. And, all right, um, uh, feeding kind of out of order. We don't have any fame dogs right now, I don't think. So we don't really need to worry about, um about them not having, um, 
Like, we don't really need to worry about them having catches at the same time. That's kind of just an extra bonus. That's mostly something we have to worry about with Chase, because he likes getting fame. Oops, that was not I, even supposed to be a throw. <laughs> oh, um, oh, we almost had Snowball actually almost caught that one. All right, you guys are getting started towards a tangling up, so we gotta be cautious of that. All right. And we're already pulling into fourth, so that's good. Okay, here we go. Let's make sure we feed these guys. Oh, right as the tree was there, too. That was perfect. All right. And we didn't actually get it to worry, so let's make sure we get her fed. And here we go. Okay, everything's going so well so far, so that's good. All right. What I'd like to do, too, is try and breed Duncan and Snowball again and see if we can get a middle dog that likes petting, because that would be excellent. Uh, that would be really, really excellent. All right, let's see here. Okay, bum ba dum ba dum. Let's make sure everybody's getting uh, getting food properly. And we're in first, so we should be pretty near the end of the race then. Just a little ways farther. And here we go. And everybody's fed. We've actually been in first for a long time without reaching the end of the race, so we're doing phenomenally this time. All right, here we are. We can do this. It's because our team is trained for even more difficult races. There's the finish line, so we are well ahead of everyone else this time. And there we go. All right. And it looks like so Rory's maxed out with fatigue, and I think nobody gained extra fatigue. Okay, so Sierra has her pour up with Snowball and with Squirrel, so that should hopefully start helping soon. Uh, everybody just needs to rest for a little bit longer and uh, um, kind of get settled in a little more. So we'll go ahead and let them rest, and then we'll get them back training. They should all just be able to switch right over. And we should be able to start working with uh, with Avalanche again pretty soon here. I think that'll be good. Okay, oops. And we can keep going. There we go. We got another race. I'm going to see how tough it is. Okay. So, let's see. You just had your favorite thing. Shasta needs his favorite thing. So, we'll let Squirrel do some training. And um, we'll go into this race here. So, we've got high exhaustion, moderate exhaustion, low exhaustion, and then low exhaustion on the lead of the wheel. So, we should be good with this one. I don't think it'll be too awful. <laughs> Hopefully not, at least. Um, as long as it's not severe, I'm not complaining. So, all right, let's make sure. Oh, we've already got a tree. I don't think we're going to make that before the tree. Oh, almost made it there. Oh, okay, we've got to jump right away. Did somebody else? Oh, my gosh, I didn't even see that tangle. Oh, gosh, okay, nope, 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 nope. Everybody's going to get tired from this. Okay, feed, 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 feed. Feed. <laughs> we gotta feed everyone. Hopefully we at least won't have high fatigue for anybody or deep fatigue. Oh gosh, Snowball is tired. Everyone's getting tired. We're out of we're out of treats now. This is actually really bad. I thought this was gonna be easier because it wasn't supposed to be a high exhaustion race, but exhaustion is not only the only factor. Alright, we might have to sit out for a little bit. Okay, we gotta jump. I wasn't expecting to get everybody tangled either. That threw off the whole rhythm of everything. Okay. Oh, boy. We need another restock. There, there's one. Okay, we're good. All right, there we go. We're just going to go down the line and feed everyone. All right, you're ready for food. And we got to jump again. <laughs> um, okay, there we go. We should be good. All right, I'm not going to feed everybody up there because not everybody is tired yet. Alrighty. And we're out of food. I could really use a restock. There we go. All right, we got to jump, and she caught it midair, so that's good. Um, did Rory get it? I hope Rory got it. Oh, and yes, we got it. Okay, there we go. Let's make sure we feed everybody else along the way, and we should be good. We should have another restock coming up pretty soon, I think. They seem to be doing fairly, uh, fairly good time with the restocks. All right, oh, stay forward. I do not want you tangling the team up again. That was a disaster. <laughs> um, we got to jump, yes. Uh, I, I freaked me out that it was flashing red. Oh, come on. We gotta get to another restock soon here. There we go. All right, quickly feed, 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 feed. And Shasta does need it, so we gotta throw it up there. Oh, he's gotten tired now, too. Oh, great. Um, all right, can we get it to you quickly enough? Uh, almost. Almost. All right, there we go. We definitely are taking a lot of fatigue this race. Um... 
All right, oh, please actually catch it. No, we're taking a lot of fatigue this time around, and that is really a bad thing. Um, all right, oh, stay forward. I don't want anybody getting tangled. We're almost to the end. Oh, come on, you guys, we made it in second. That's still pretty good. <laughs> it was kind of a disastrous race because everybody got tangled right at the beginning. Uh, maybe next time I get that rope sponsorship, I will. Oh, no, we did get deep fatigue on, on at least for Sierra. Oh, man, that's not good. We'll have to rest our team for a long time then, I think. So let's get everybody racing, and um, we'll keep Squirrel in training. Okay, we've got to do more conditioning, so we don't know his fault. Um, I'm going to try and... What, what would his favorite thing? His favorite thing is either going to be perfectly timed catches or consecutive catches. Let's try that and just see... Uh, perfectly timed catches, so that's fine. Uh, that's not generally too hard. Let's just make sure we get everybody back in training as quickly as possible. So Rory is ready. Not Sierra yet. Not Duncan. Uh, nobody else is ready yet. So we gotta get back. Uh, we gotta keep caretaking there. Let's see. Can we get anybody else in? Duncan, yes. Not yet for everybody else. And we'll make sure that we um, we keep going here. So I might I might opt to. Uh, uh, to take the the rope sponsorship next time because honestly we're doing all right with the finances um, but that that tangling got really nasty there uh, now that we're doing five dog races it is a little bit more uh, disastrous sometimes I think we'll we'll go a little bit further but it is gonna be time to wrap up pretty soon and good we got her deep fatigue gone so that's good and she is fully back to normal now so that's good all right just in time for a three dog race all right Rory, you're not supposed to be in the lead. You're supposed to be in the middle. And do you have rapport with anyone? Um, nope. So who... I'm going to put Squirrel in because Squirrel has uh, been out longer. And then let's make sure... Actually, everybody else is training, so that's good. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and do this because this isn't going to be as bad for her because it's a three-dog race. So we'll go ahead and do this one. And just make sure we feed her constantly because we really got to take advantage of every opportunity we have to start getting her skills up because um, we need to make sure that she's going to be ready to handle the harder races as soon as possible because she will be taking on the main role of the middle dog at some point soon here because we're going to have middle dogs starting to retire. All right, we got to jump again. She's already hungry again and we got that to her so that's good. Stay up ahead everyone. All right, we gotta make sure everybody's getting food. <laughs> uh, but this is not too bad because it's just a three dog and so we're, we're getting to feed everybody pretty much on schedule. Oops, sorry, Rory. I'm used to feeding everyone faster. All right, let's make sure we get squirrel fed. And there we go, we can feed Sierra again. Uh, so far, so good. <laughs> All right, let's just make sure we keep feeding her. And the restocks come fast enough, it seems, that we're not having too many problems with them, so that's good. All right, there we go. We got another tree coming up. We want to make sure everybody stays nice and uh, nice, nice and tight in the line here. No! All right, we got to jump. No! Okay, she's getting a little tired there, so that wasn't so good. Um, but even so, a little fatigue is not bad as long as it doesn't become excessive. All right, we got to jump again. And there we go. Not quite ready, which is good because she wasn't ready for a perfect anyway and we're in first so we're doing pretty well here all right oh sorry Rory and there is the finish line all right we just got to feed Sierra one more time and we should be good and her skill kicked in too so she could lunge out of position that's a good thing all right and it looks like all right I think three fatigue okay and rapport up with Rory and fame and fatigue capacity so seven races as middle she should be pretty close to getting her next level of specialty which will help okay sure we'll pay our dues um and what we'll do here is we'll just make sure we get everybody resting and i'll go a little further but uh, we'll wrap up pretty soon here oh and avalanche has grown up all right so all right um we didn't see his specialty, so I'm gonna give him a- I'll leave him with a purple harness until we know what his specialty is. We just know it's not gonna be the middle. Um, so we'll start racing him probably... We might start racing him in wheel. Let's see what- let's see what our next race is, and maybe we'll try our first race with Avalanche here. So let's make sure- okay, everybody else should go to training. Uh, so Rory and Squirrel, and then what I'm gonna do is I'll put Sierra caretaking here. And we'll put Avalanche here. 
and start training him up right off the bat so that we can um so that we can get him uh get him going here and we don't actually know his faults i'm pretty sure so we'll have to see what that turns out to be oh oh i have him on why do i have him on caretaking i shouldn't have him on caretaking all right it's a three dog team so perfect chance all right high exhaustion medium exhaustion and 12 days ago sure we'll put him in and then everybody else will be training Let's go ahead and try this, and then we'll wrap up our episode. So, we'll see. <laughs> we'll see. So, hopefully, it's it's good to start building, um, it'll be good to start building rapport with, um, with Shasta, or with, not with Shasta, with, um, with Avalanche and Sierra, too, because they're the next generation of team members, and so they're gonna be working together an awful lot here. Alright, here we go. <laughs> uh, we should be able to do this, I think. Okay, Make sure you- no, Shasta! <laughs> Alright, we gotta get it to Sierra here, too. Shasta's pretty good about not getting tired too quickly, though, so I'm not overly worried about him. And he is going to, to speed up there. Alright. And we could use a restock. Oh, good. Alright, perfectly timed, perfectly timed. Alright. I'm gonna throw to these two because they're close enough to not be affected by the tree, and Shasta wasn't quite hungry yet, but he should be now. There we go. Everybody's doing well. And there's the tree again. So we just gotta just gotta hold on here and we gotta get up to Shasta pretty quickly here. The wind really does affect things, honestly. Uh, it makes it a lot more difficult. We got another restock, so we're generally getting down to about tr two treats before each uh, before each restock, so that's alright. Oh boy. All right, we gotta jump quickly. <laughs> there we go. Oh no, Shasta, I'm sorry. Hopefully he won't take fatigue from that. I don't think he did. I think we're all right. Uh, but even if he did, he can swap out with Squirrel. Oh no, so Avalanche's fault has come out and we don't know what that is. All right, all right, let's see. I don't know what his fault is. I actually don't know which one we're missing. Um, what are you, what did you actually do, Avalanche? We'll have to find out when we get back. And we're in first. So Avalanche's first race is actually going really, really well. Oh, oh yeah, she was ready. Good. And so that's a very good thing. Oh, and Shasta had his skill happen again, so that was good. All right, here we go. So let's see. We got two fatigue for Avalanche. Everybody else just got one, so that's good. So let's see what his, uh, his fault is. Uh, the greedy fault. When his fault kicks in, he'll become impatient and jump the gun at restocks. I don't know what that means exactly. Um, oh, it probably means that when he, when he, you get a restock, then he gets hungry immediately and wants the food right away. <laughs> well, that's, that's an okay fault, I guess. It could be a lot worse, but it could be better too. So we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here for today, though. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the episode. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and I will see you guys next time. But until then, this is Jay, over and out.